Okay, so to get all the trim panels off here, here's clips through there. All those clips come towards you from the bottom. Then on the sides, there's clips here and they come inward. So pull forward from this part on the sides, pull inward from there. On the very back, this entire panel just comes straight down. Just make sure that you don't pull out your uh, button there. And then the handle actually comes off of the panel as well. That's normally right there. So don't let that scare you when you pull down. There's a possibility that this little guy might pop out as well. So what we're looking to do is there's a hole right here, this rectangle shape, and then there's another one of those equal on this side, basically just centering the panel. So that we drill one single hole right there with the hole saw, and that's where our rear flood puddle lights, whatever you want to call them, will go. Okay, there's a uh, trusty hole saw kit there. Two and an eighth to one and a half, one and a quarter. I believe we're using the two inch bit, but I'll confirm that in a minute. Here's my marker location. One right there. One right there. And we're just gonna install the lights right inside of those two holes after we drill them. Here's the uh, LED light. Basically this top basil just kinda twists off. And you're left with the full mounting piece of this. So we're gonna take the whole saw that fits the back of this, drill it right here. This will go in first, and then we'll screw some screws in here. And then this panel goes right back on top to make it nice and neat. Turns out it is the two and one eighth that lines up nearly perfectly with the hole that you'll need to drill on these. Okay, so here's the uh, first hole drilled right through. Um, just watch the insulation on the back of there. It will tear it if you don't move that out of the way first, but you take the wire, put the wire in first. These have these little tabs on them, so it actually locks this right in there. But pop it in, and now it actually will not come out of there at all. Um, and then we'll use the screws that are provided to screw in the three screw holes here to make sure this doesn't go anywhere. So here we are drilling, drilling some pilot holes. Make it easier for those screws to go in. Now we're putting the screws in. Be careful not to strip them. And to make it complete, put your cover on here. And twist it. And it locks. And there you have it. Extra lighting. So now we're just going to go through the whole process again. Marked on this side. Drill a pilot hole. Cut out the hole, drop the light in, drill pilot holes for the screws, and then screw in the screws, attach the light cover, and then we'll go on to the wiring on the back. Okay, now as far as wiring the lights, you've got a white and a black out of there. Added some heat shrink to make it all nice and pretty. What you want to do here, the black of the light is actually the positive of the light. The white on the light is actually the negative. So if you do your standard red and black wiring, you're gonna have to reverse this connection. So red goes to black, black goes to white, and that'll match up with your standard. Red is positive, black is negative. So there's one completed set. Remember, in this case, black to white, black to red. This black to that white, that black to this red. The wires are backwards. Look at your instructions that come with the lights. And at the other end over here, I've got a uh, mid-wire strip there, and we're gonna attach this next piece in right there. Before we actually solder this next set over here, I am running behind and in between the stock points where this is glued on here so that all of your cable pretty much manage itself from under the bottom of here. Once you have everything all back together, make sure you go ahead and test the lights. This is in the kitchen here. Only those lights, everything else is dark. And there you have it. Put everything back together.
uh, for wiring, I'll actually run this to the cargo light on the left hand side in the rear and just supply 12 volt from that so that when that light comes on, these lights come on. Alright, so there are the lights installed on the bottom there. I added a little extra on the back of here uh, for emergency use because I'm a first responder. Ran the wire up along here, through there. This grommet you just pull out and you pull up and you can access it through there. It's a pain, but you get a metal coat hanger or something to strand it through and you'll be fine. Uh, and then I ran it inside of here and down and I'm powering off of the wires down here and so there's a white wire with a blue stripe or a white wire with a purple stripe that's your positive and then the black wire is your negative and I'm just splicing right into that I went ahead and added one more right here on the side as well um, installing that one right now and I'll show you what it looks like here when I'm done Okay, here's the completed product. You can see the uh, much brighter than stock light over there on the side. Got the two up here in the roof. Things nice and stitched in there together to where you can't see any of the wires. I'm gonna get some night video here in a second. And then uh, put a switch in here, right here, that controls the uh, emergency lights. So those are built right into there as well hope you enjoyed the video and uh overall difficulty this one i'd say it's uh it's medium okay here's the uh the full darkness test